Yeah, some rain in the area. Yeah, and we need it so badly, Margaret. Margaret's here with our first warning weather. How much rain can we expect, Margaret? Well, it's kind of interesting. Over the next few days, I'm not expecting a lot, but next Tuesday, we could get locally heavy rain. But wait, look. We've got rain. I mean, I don't know. Many of you may have been doing a rain dance. We are in so desperate need of this rain to put out that marsh fire that's kind of near Bayou Sauvage. So this is a look at our WDSU first warning radar. Frankly, there's not a lot out there right now. It's just some light showers and it's just that we so desperately need it, right? So we're zooming in over at the airport. They've had some rain. We can come in a little bit tighter. You can see this is uh, right there at Lafreniere Park. It's not a whole lot of rain. Then we can come out wider. We've got some showers over here near Lafitte. And of course, they'd have that marsh fire that was near Lafitte. A little bit of rain popping up near Raceland. You can see some showers as well. That one's heading up towards Lockport. So the good news is, Yes, we finally have some rain. I've checked these rainfall totals. They're coming in at about a hundredth to five hundredths of an inch of rain. Considering we're about 28 and a half inches of rain below average, that's not much, but more is on the way. So here is a look at our forecast and what I'm expecting. First, the weather is changing. We've got a cold front that's going to be moving through that's going to cause our temperatures to drop and it's going to give us off and on rain through the weekend. Then we've got a Gulf low that is going to be developing. It's going to move kind of close to the coast. Our models earlier in the week showed that low staying farther offshore. Now it has it moving closer. We're going to have to wait and see whether models will continue to show that, but it's for Tuesday and it is indicating that we could get locally heavy rain. Now, as you look at November 18th through the 23rd, that's actually showing up warmer than average, but for that same time period, it's also also showing up wetter than average, and gosh, do we need that. Climate Prediction Center now saying we're pretty much all in an exceptional drought. 73 now, look, we've got rain at the airport. Last time we had rain was October 11th. Notice the wind is fairly light out of the east. The dew point is coming up about the area. Temperatures are pleasant. We're in the 70s, the average high 73. Here comes the cold front. It's moving through tomorrow. This is the upper level low out west that's going to be moving east. That's going to help with our rain chances next week. But now, widely scattered light showers. Into the evening, temperatures are in the 70s. Watch this. We do see some heavier rain developing on the north shore and forecast models picking up on getting some locally heavy rain there. Then for the afternoon, high temperatures mainly in the low 70s, some often on showers. I don't see it as a major deal. For your Saturday, low temperatures in the 60s. Highs are going to be near 70. I know, not warming up much at all. So let's look at the forecast rainfall. And notice that stripe, especially over towards Bogalusa, where you could get some heavier rain. But again, we really need this rain desperately. Then we add up a little bit more over the weekend. This is the Gulf low. Now forecast to come a little bit closer. This is through Wednesday. How much rain are we talking about? Watch. So Monday, not too bad. Tuesday, ah, it's adding up. And then look, the risk that some of us could have five to seven inches of rain. That would put out the marsh fire. Here is a look at your WDSU first warning weather and look heavier rain forecast with wind on Tuesday.